In this video, we're going to talk about the sounding point. When violinists begin playing, and they have their first, I would say, year of lessons, roughly, at least, their teachers always say to them, play on the sounding point. And I'm going to tell you what that means in a minute, but what I will say is that the reason for playing on the sounding point is because we want to have the most beautiful sound and the most clear sound possible. Once we've learned how to play on the sounding point, we have a certain kind of uh, basis of what's considered uh, a starting point. After we have that starting point, we may experiment and play in other parts of the violin. But I will show you those different parts as well as we speak, and I'll show you the different kinds of sounds we can make from playing on the sounding point and off the sounding point. So what is the sounding point? The sounding point is an imaginary line that uh, is connecting these two dots, this one and this one. And uh, the best way to describe it uh, not using dots is to say it is exactly in the middle between the bridge and the end of the fingerboard. It's a horizontal line that goes that way, or vertical depending on your perspective. So I'm going to play for you on the A string, on the sounding point, and you'll hear a very rich, beautiful, and singing sound. And I'm going to orient myself so that you can see the violin in the best way. Now, let's see what happens if we play off the sounding point. Let's play closer to the fingerboard. Did you notice the sound wasn't as full? I'm going to play even closer to the fingerboard just to make the point. Even softer. So there are times for that, but your teacher probably at the beginning will tell you not to do that because we need, a, as I said at the beginning, a starting point. Now, I'm going to show you what happens when we play closer to the bridge. Pretty scratchy and yucky, huh? Well, there is a, part, a place for that in music as well. Uh, some composers specifically ask for a technique called sul ponticello, which means on the bridge, and they want that, that kind of sound. Now, if I play like right on the bridge, look what would happen. I can play like a little scale. Almost has a spooky kind of sound. And, you know, of course, your teacher at the beginning will say, Oh, don't play that horrible sound! And uh, he or she would be right. <laughs> However, uh, as I said, there's a place for everything in the world of violin playing. And uh, I just wanted to demonstrate to you what the differences are in the possibilities we can make with our bows. And this has been the lesson on the sounding point.